now today we shall discuss about the minerals and the energy resources in this unit first of all today we all know that human beings are largely dependent on minerals how are human beings dependent on minerals the tiniest particle let us take a safety pin from safety pin onwards to a large towering building we need various kinds of minerals and human beings are directly associated with the usage and utilization of various minerals in their day to day life you can't even use a smallest thing without minerals even the powder what we apply the talc powder also is made of minerals which are available in nature so today's lesson where we are going to stress on what are minerals how do we classify the minerals what are the different categories of minerals what are the advantages that we get from the minerals what are the energy resources and how are we utilizing them these all points will be covered in today's topic of discussion under the heading minerals and energy resources in the minerals and energy resources first of all today in the modern day the human beings life has become indispensable which means inseparable minerals and humans life has become a correlated subject without the relation with human life without using any mineral they are not able to do any work because let us take if you want to use your shirt with a tiny pin if you have any problem with your button immediately we need a safety pin which is actually made of a mineral so from the tiniest to smallest particle to the largest towering buildings large ships any constructions massive constructions massive utilizations or anything you need minerals so human life and minerals today have become indispensable combination and in this we have the tiny pins to the towering buildings not only this we generally observe when we go to the railway stations we find railway tracks which are laid with iron and in the on the road you find many vehicles moving let us take from bicycle to the modern costliest range rover cars cars all are used various kind of minerals in order to manufacture them and then moving on to the public transport system where most of us will be using the public transport system the public transport system is also made of minerals the buses the autos all are also made of minerals and then moving on to trains trains are explicitly made of minerals and moving on to aeroplanes aeroplanes are also made of minerals yes you may get a question like is the same mineral used to make all these items no the mineral may be varying but the common nature is minerals are used explicitly in our day to day life that is the point of understanding in this at this stage of time now what is a mineral actually how does the geologist define mineral who is a geologist geologist is a person who studies about the inner layers of the earth the geography of the earth is known as geologist a geologist who gave a clear definition about the minerals is the homogeneously occurred substance a substance which is homogeneous in nature which is not heterogeneous in nature what is the difference between a homogeneous and a heterogeneous substance homogeneous similar same heterogeneous different combinations together so a mineral is a homogeneous compound which is found naturally any human cannot create a mineral humans can dig the earth and search the availability of the minerals but any human cannot create any mineral so naturally occurred homogeneous substance and which should also have a definable internal structure what is this definable internal structure in chemistry we study various formulas let us take ammonium nitrate nh3 the ammonium nitrate of nh3 is having a structure of n at the middle and 3 h's coming at the pyramidal shape or triangular shape which means they have a definable structure according to the physical components of the chemical components which are available or present 
in that particular mineral or in that particular compound. In the same way, whatever substance you get in the nature cannot be called a mineral. A mineral is something which is available in nature, which is homogeneous in structure and at the same time it should also have a definable chemical structure formulae for that. Then only it can be called as a mineral. So, in clear words, the geologists defined that mineral is a homogeneous, naturally occurring substance which is also having a definable internal structure. Examples of the minerals are the hardest mineral on the earth is diamond. Diamond is found in the carbon compounds where the components of carbon are very closely bound in diamond so that you find it very difficult to break the diamond. Diamond is the hardest mineral available on the earth. Moving on to the softest mineral available on the earth is talc. The talcum powders what we use come under the category of the softest available minerals on the earth. We also have various rocks coming under the category of minerals. How can a rock be a mineral? Rocks, let us put that in the definition. Rocks which have homogeneous nature and occurring naturally substances. Yes, rocks occur naturally and they also have a definable internal structure. Yes, they have a certain combination of the chemicals which are presenting or bounding them together. That's why rocks also come under the category of uh, minerals. So this is the introduction of minerals. Minerals, nowadays minerals have become an inseparable or indispensable part of the human lives. Starting from the tiny safety pin to a towering buildings, nowadays human beings are using the minerals in every walk of life, in every activity whatever he performs. He needs one or the other kind of minerals. For example, let us take railways, railway compartments, railway works, railway engines, railway tracks, railway constructions, railway bridges. For everything we need minerals. Maybe not the same mineral but different kinds of minerals are used in every aspect of human life. When we take on the cars, cars are manufactured with different chemicals and minerals. Buses, different minerals are used. Trains, different minerals are used. Aeroplanes, the other category of minerals are used because nowadays in every aspect of life, especially human life, is becoming a complete combination or closely associated with the usage of the minerals. And coming to understanding the definition of minerals, the mineral is defined by the geologists who explicitly study about the nature and the functioning and the chemical composition of a mineral. So they have defined that homogeneous naturally occurring substances which has a definable internal structure is called as a mineral. The hardest mineral available on the earth is diamond with a close combination of the carbon components and the softest one is a talc while moving on to understand the rocks. Rocks also come under the category of the minerals.